so we can we can go ahead. Okay, so the Criminal Procedure Amendment Bill, um, one of the aspects that it will introduce, which are quite important if you want to manage your administration of justice process in the courts, is the Criminal Procedure Amendment Bill, and it will introduce an aspect of plea bargaining. Plea bargaining just suggests, it's already happening actually, it's a de facto practice, that you know the state and the defense come together and have a discussion about what would be an acceptable way that we can settle this without having to go through the tedious and long protracted process of the court system where you have to go through a trial and it can take a number of years in some instances to finalize it. Um, plea bargaining shortens proceedings. Uh, plea bar there are a number of key safeguards in place. The role that the presiding officer plays, uh, for, a, for example, when you are plea bargaining um, with an unrepresented accused, the role that the presiding officer plays when two parties, the state and, and, and the defense have a representative, for instance. Um, also, this bill, will, will what it will probably do is that it will allow us um, to limit the type of cases um, that can that can be allowed to go through the system of plea bargaining. So it's not, I don't believe it was intended to have every case be subjected to plea bargaining. So the, 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 the allegation that this was a fish rod bill is completely unfounded, uh, you know, because in, I'm not even sure what the basis of that allegation was, yeah. uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, but, but uh, at the moment that bill is not in Parliament and it was withdrawn based on some uh, reservations that were raised by people uh, members of parliament yes. and some, some quarters of the population yes, as well. and, and, So and what is the status of the, of the bill at Well, the at the moment, moment we, we have taken it back to the Office of the Prosecutor General, who is really responsible um, in, in practical terms of the management of that particular bill. And, and what we've done is to consult with the uh, Prosecutor General to raise the concerns that have been raised by members of the of parliament and, and also some of the perceptions that were out in, in the public space so that we can perhaps tighten the safeguards if there are concerns to, to identify what kind of cases we're going to allow in this process and also to see what impact that process will have in our overall um, reform project to reduce the backlog and to speed up the process in, in, in our court system. Uh -huh. This bill is one way that we can reduce the cases that we um, allow through the court process. Oh. We, we will significantly reduce uh, cases in the backlog. So at the moment, it will, when, when can we expect it to come back, to come back again to Parliament? I, I cannot say at the moment. We have placed it on the agenda for this year, this financial year. So I, I believe that certainly uh, before the end of the year, and I mean financial year, we should be able to bring it back once we've done all our consultations and discussions with the relevant stakeholders. Yeah. The 